Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Trail Pass. So today we're going to be dealing with this here. So what that is, is that's actually the Can-Am plow plate. Uh, it will work with the true Can-Am plow. Uh, you can see we went ahead and put the four-wheeler up on ramps here and that's because it all goes right under there, basically on the skid plate of the machine. Uh, this is not the first time I've installed this and I can tell you the first time was not fun. I even talked to the guy at the Can-Am dealership and he kind of reiterated the same thing. Uh, this is not the easiest install, but hopefully we can help you out here a little bit. So uh, one thing that will help you a lot, here is a look at that plow plate that we'll be installing, but actually you can look it up online or get it from your dealer, uh, but you can actually get a template and a set of directions uh, to help you out with this install. So we went ahead and center punched all of the holes there on uh, the actual skid plate on the bottom of the four wheeler uh, using the template so we got all of the holes in the right spots. So go ahead and drill those now and uh, get this install started. Oops, gotta turn it on to drill. That might help. Get torque setting right there. So the holes in the frame were actually already pre-drilled, so you're just drilling through the plastic skid plate here. Yeah, that one's gonna be a trick. Yeah. Right there on that rib. There we go, we got it now. All right, so there's the seven eighths ones. So you got all four of them? All four of those. Okay. Go ahead and switch to the half. So there's a look at all of the holes being drilled. So the setup is out of the way. Now we'll go ahead and start installing the plow plate. So we've got P12, carriage bolts. There's they 30, and let's see, these should be. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, so all the carriage bolts go on the sides here, which makes sense because you can't get to the backs of them right. to hold them. Yep. So they all go there. These go to in the, the front. Forward in the front, right here. Yep. yep. And then them long ones must go here, and that's what holds on holds the those, short little bars, the arms, or the yeah. long bars, I guess. And those would be... So are we supposed to put all of these little... Now, some of them get washers, things. yeah. They're, and that's what's going to make this a lot easier. Uh, each one of them is going to get washers, and then each one of them will get the push nuts. So you put the push nuts on first? No, washers and then push nuts. Now, yeah, everyone gets washers, flat washers, and everyone... When There's you go to do push nuts... Hold it up on here, and then get a socket that fits the outer edge of the and push nut. It down on. And just push it down by hand. All right. You getting her? I can't get them started, man. I think I'm getting like one. Oh, you got her. They are a little tight, aren't they? Yeah. You're, you're tougher than I am. I'll give I it don't know about that. Oh, yeah. 100%. That's the wrong watch for that. Oh, it is? No, I just messed oh. with you. All right. Don't you just love this thing? Oh, hell, we could just put it up on there. Yeah, this actually is a good kit. It's just a real pain yeah. in the butt. Even the guy at the Can-Am dealership said, this is not fun. I don't know if you've ever done it, but this is awful. I said, yeah, thanks. We've already done it. We're doing it again. <laughs> Here. Smack. Oh, All right. Keep driving her. Yep. There you go. Bottom. Where'd it go? You got too many papers. It's like reading a book. Uh -huh. We have all this nice working space. We're using the smallest possible thing we have. Oh, that's all right. I do that work all the time. I also do that work all the time, too. Just drop stuff yeah. for no reason. Hey, you getting her. Now you really got her. Now we're just driving the point home. We don't have to take these things off. 
Ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Never. Ever. Ever. Okay. Here, let's do this one too, because. You just gotta hold your finger there. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Finger versus mallet, who wins? Definitely my finger. Okay. Yeah, we got one started. I think you got that one too. Oh, yeah, right. I can't move it. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Okay. Now, what goes in the center two? The center two, you just have to hold with these flange nuts nothing no bracket or no bracket it's nothing. already so the hole that we drilled went through the metal skid plate there okay and we just have to draw these down all right let me have here's a one, one flange nut flange nut number two right. here's on the other side oh no oh you dropped it oh, oh no Can you get in there pretty good on that side? I got one started. Yeah, I got this one. Yeah. Right <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, you I got think, yours? I think it's pretty close. Looks like your whole thing's crooked. Is, is the screw crooked? Oh. Here, move your hand. Try to see if you can screw it on there. I just can't do it with my bare hand or my hand at that angle you know it'd be a whole lot nicer you know i bought this xt four-wheeler mm -hmm. with all the pre-installed options mm -hmm. this would be a really good thing to do at the factory and not mm -hmm. laying on your floor uh so now you're gonna do that angle and do one yeah so this is what we got for that big old angle attachment on your drill <laughs> which that's probably not the way to do it but that's the way we're gonna try it well, I don't know if it works or not, but we'll try it here. Okay. Dude, that, that's like a stubby drive shaft. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's like it's a tapered little a couple thing. inches long. And it's like a half inch thick in the center. Yeah. It's weird. Uh, they probably build that in so anytime that you go into any serious terrain it just snaps right off and go back to your deal like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah you definitely drew it down some more there with what you just did yeah i was gonna say i don't think they're tight enough yet. now we're talking oh yeah So at this point, what you're supposed to be able to do, we'll see if we can do it or not, or if we gotta adjust it. You're supposed to be able to run this thing out. And what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and weave it through the plow. So you pull this little arm up, weave your cable through the arm, hook the winch. Now, the way I had my last four-wheeler set up, and there's all kinds of adjustment here, but the way I had my last four-wheeler set up, all you have to do is winch it in, and it pops right in place. We'll see if, how lucky we are. Got to put the park brake on. All right. have the prime prime adjustment and probably you don't have a rocket but release it yeah unwrap it on that arm the arm back in place 
and you got your winch. So your winch operates it, you got your yellow bar for the tilt, you got yourself a four wheeler snow plow. There you go. All right guys, so we got the plow on here. It is not quite as simple as what can makes it look like on their video. I mean, they have it, you just run it through your little hook and then you start winching in and it pops right into place. I've never really got mine quite that well set up. Uh, we messed with it here a little bit, but you still have to rock it just a little bit to get it to pop into place. But all in all, a really simple plow setup. I really like that you can change the angle, hook it up as easy as it is, and then you can drop it just as easy. So uh, went ahead, took the basket off, took the rear seat off, and we're ready for some snow. Uh, they're actually calling for 12 plus inches tomorrow. We'll see if we actually get that. Probably not now that we went through all this work. But uh, I realize this video might not have been as clear as what it could have been. It's really hard to get a clear view underneath the four-wheeler while you're laying under there with your lights and everything else. So I do apologize about that. But this whole uh, set of instructions here, I actually got from my Can-Am dealer. But the first time I installed this, you can actually find all of this online. I'll go ahead and put a link to that. Uh, but what Can-Am has on their website is they actually have the instructions for any kit that you can add to your Outlander. So say you want to uh, add new uh, winch to it, or you need to uh, you know, add this snowplow, any kind of accessories that you might find, um, you, they actually have all of those instructions on their website. So definitely check that out. All that will be in uh, the description of the video. But all in all, this plow plate costs around $100. And uh, I'm sure if you had the dealership install that, that would be at least $100 worth of an install. All in all, it took Grant and I about an hour uh, to do all this once we had all of our tools ready. So not a crazy amount of time. It definitely goes better with two people. So again, a huge thanks to Grant. I really appreciate him taking his time out of his busy schedule to come down and, and help me with this. But uh, definitely goes really good with two people. And uh, yeah, definitely something you can do uh, to save yourself a little bit of money. Like I said, if the dealer would offer to throw that in when you're buying a new Outlander, uh, definitely take them up on that. It is not the easiest thing, um, but it is doable. And I hope this video did at least prove that. So thank you all very much for watching. Have a fantastic week, everybody. We'll catch you next time.